시작. Hello, Alpaca Casa. It's great pleasure to see you all. I'm Yoon Young Hong, a member of 16's EGI. Today, I would like to tell you briefly about the logic tree, which is a great tool to develop your logical thinking. So here's our table of contents. Um, I would like to tell you three big parts. What is logic tree, and why do we use, why do we use that, and how can we use logic tree? So before we get started, let's think of the situation. What was your first reaction when you faced the problem? Especially that problem is really complicated or you don't know much about that issue. For me, I would feel like I got completely lost and I don't know where to tackle first. And these type of questions would pop up into your mind. How can you solve this problem? Or where should I start? Or how many possible solutions out there? And that's the moment this logic tree can help you out. So let's look deeply into the logic tree. Let's look at the definition first. A logic tree is a graphical breakdown of a given problem by subdividing the problem into several components. And here's the important point. When you draw a logic tree, you need to always keep those four words into your mind. It's M-E-C-E. -E. First, the M-E means mutually exclusive. It's to differentiate individual issues from each other's. So this part is a logic tree. After you divide a problem into issues and several components, you have to always check these components are mutually exclusive. That means these cannot be duplicated into each other. And also, it has to maintain the coherence uh, within the same level. Next one is collectively exhaustive. It is to cover all the relevant and serious arguments. That means you, you cannot uh, miss any one or two issues or, or that cannot be, uh, because you might end up with incomplete logic tree. Let's look into this logic tree. Among these components, it needs to be collectively exhaustive. That means you need to cover all the possible solutions. And also, between the levels, it has to be always relevant. So let's move on to the reason why we need to use this logic tree. There's mainly four reasons. First of all, you can achieve systematic and logical problem-solving approach. And while you draw this logic tree, you will clarify the issues and causes by subdividing the problem into several components. By doing so, you can cover the entire possible solutions, and that way, you can select the most effective ways to solve your problem. And what would be, uh, when would be the best timing to use this logic tree? I would say it's at the very early stage of the problem solving so that it will help you to go further and develop your think a more logical way. All right, then let's try to apply what we discussed into a real example. Actually, the logic tree can also use for business issues and really complicated problems, and also for the casual problems that we face in our daily lives. For example, let's say we have that kind of issue, how to build muscles. And we can um, divide the problem into two sub-issues. It is by weight training and by diet. It seems like they are mutually exclusive. And I'll try to uh, divide this issue into two components. Weight training can be divided into upper weight training, upper body weight training, and lower body weight training. Also, you need to check if uh, these two are mutually exclusive and they're maintaining the careers. And in the diet section, diet can be a uh, protein-rich diet and increase just uh, just increasing the food intake. Between the level, they have to be relevant. And also, you also have to check the uh, collective exhaustiveness. 
So today, we've discussed what is logic tree and why why do we use that and how we can apply that into real example. I hope this session was helpful for all of you guys. Thank you.